Hi, my name is Fergal and I am a Wella educator. And today I'm gonna to take you through how to achieve gray coverage using Illumina Color. My client wants to achieve a beautiful, natural, amber toned result with a slightly deeper root into a lighter, more sun-kissed end. Our starting point today is a four month regrowth with a natural depth of six stroke O. She has about 50% white hair through the hairline and a scattering of 30% to the back and sides. She also has some existing lightness through the mid lengths and ends. If your client has less than 70% white, you can use your target shade by itself. For hair over 70% white, mix half and half of your natural, such as six stroke, with your target shade. The shades that I've chosen to achieve this beautiful amber toned root are Illumina Color 6 Stroke 37 and 6 Stroke with 6%. I'm applying the color starting on the crown working from ear to ear, then applying the color in straight lines across the back of the head, finishing off across the hairline. Once my root tint is applied, I then section the hair into five sections with a diamond shape on top and four quadrants, two at the back and two at the side. To add more highs and lows to the hair and give the haircut more dimension and definition, I have used a freehand painting technique, starting off with a deep weave and applying my blonde or plex to the mid lengths and ends using Illuminage highlight paper, making sure that my bleach and tint do not overlap, but also to give extra lift through isolation. I repeated this through the top section, working horizontally up towards the parting to give extra definition, lightness and blend. The roots were developed for 40 minutes in total without heat and the ends were developed for 20 minutes in total until we achieved the lift on the depth of a 7 or an orange yellow undertone. After rinsing, we applied Wellaplex number two for 10 minutes before shampooing twice using Color Motion Plus Shampoo. Then we rinsed and applied Blondor Seal and Care before we moved on to our glossing service. I've chosen to do an Illumina Color Glossing Service using shade 7 stroke 43, mixing it with Invigo Color Service Conditioner and Willoxon Perfect Pastel Developer. I applied it to my model's mid lengths and ends and checked it visually until it achieved that perfect amber tone. I've done my model's hair for many years and I know that it absorbs a lot of warmth and the result can often look quite cool. This is why I've chosen a much warmer shade for her previously lightened mid lengths and ends. Before blow drying, I applied a combination of Oil Reflections Luminous Smoothing Oil and IME Thermal Image Heat Protection Spray. I use my GHD hair dryer then to wrap dry the hair before giving it a soft wave using my GHD Curve Classic Curl Tongue. Finally, to finish, really show off the colour and all the dimension through it, I use a little spritz of IME Glam Mist Shine Spray. Here you can see all the dimension that the lightened areas have brought through it. The perfect coverage using Illumina Colour on the grey roots area and all the dimension through the back and sides. To maintain a look like this, I would recommend using Colour Motion Plus shampoo and conditioner. Also, Colour Fresh masks can deliver an exceptional treatment while also depositing tone on the hair. For my model, I sent her home with some caramel glaze because she loves those deeper, warmer tones. However, she could play around with the likes of Copper Glow, Chocolate Touch or Golden Gloss as well. I hope you enjoyed today's transformation. For more videos like this, please like, share and subscribe for more. You can also find me on Instagram at Fergal Wah.